Hi everyone, my name is Christy and welcome to my trying a new makeup product everyday series. Today I'm so excited to try out this NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. So this is a top rated, super hyped up concealer that I've been wanting to try out for so long and then I finally purchased it in my recent big Ulta haul. I did get it in the mini size, which is $14 versus the full size, which is like 31 but they have a great shade range. The shade that I got is called Creme Brulee Light 2.5. And this is supposed to be medium buildable coverage and just look very undetectable, which is exactly what I look for in my concealers. I am very picky with my concealers and I really struggle with my under eye circles. So I try and find a great concealer to cover up these under eyes, but still look smooth and skin like. So let's hope that this will do the trick. So let's see what the applicator is like. Oh, just a little doe foot here. So first I'm gonna try it out on one of my under eyes and I'll just go in with a little bit because <laughs> I never know how much concealer I'm gonna need. And I'm gonna go ahead and try blending it out with my finger to start. Sometimes I can get more coverage in a smoother finish when I blend out concealer with my finger, even though my preferred method is probably to use my dampened sponge. But okay, yeah, I mean that little bit blended out very quickly and gave me a little bit of coverage like light coverage there so I guess I am going to need a bit more it's a thin type of concealer let's see I did add a lot more just now so let's see how this is it does seem to have some good pigment though I'm bringing it down a little bit over my cheeks. It is looking very nice and smooth on my cheek as well, which is a good test of how a concealer looks, like if it's gonna settle into my pores or not, but it's looking very smooth. I'm getting good coverage now, and I like how it blended out with my finger. It does blend out very quickly and easily. That is nice. Definitely a medium to full coverage, not 100% full coverage, but it's looking pretty nice. And what is it's called the Radiant Creamy Concealer. It does have like a creamy finish, not super matte, not super hydrated glowy either. And right now it's not emphasizing texture on my under eyes, so it is looking very skin-like, very natural, very pretty. On the other eye, I'm gonna try blending it out with the beauty sponge just to test it, but I do think that this is the type that I prefer to blend out with my finger just because since it is more of a medium coverage, I want to be able to get as much coverage as possible. I'm gonna also conceal my nose a bit, kind of highlight the center of the face. So let's see how it looks on the face yeah it really is such a nice smooth skin like finish so i really like it on my face here as well not just the under eyes but to help smooth over the skin cover up the pores here yeah so you can see i was able to get more coverage when I blended it out with my finger versus with the sponge, but it does still look super smooth, undetectable when blended out with the sponge. So I like how it looks blended out with a sponge like on my face where I'm not trying to cover up as much, but for the dark circle, I'm gonna go in with a little bit more over the darkest part and blend that out with my finger. Like that. This does feel so tiny though for $14 because for around that same price point, you can get a full size drugstore concealer, which I feel like are just as good as this one. Some of my favorite drugstore concealers like the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer, the L'Oreal Infallible Concealer, 
two of my favorites that this is just kind of reminding me of, but those ones are much less expensive. But I am really glad to see that even though I'm so picky with my concealers, I do really like this because of how skin-like the finish is. And there is like, when I make this face and like stretch out my under eyes, I can see a little bit of um, creasing there, but just straight on, it really is not creasing much at all. And I wouldn't probably even set this with a powder because if I don't need to set my under eyes with a powder to prevent the creasing, I'd rather not give that extra mattified dried effect that a powder can give because I feel like this is just matte enough. Like I could use a little bit more radiance considering this is called the Radiant Creamy Concealer. I would have liked a little bit more hydration for the under eyes because it is just like on the borderline of being matte. So I would say I like this concealer. I'm happy with it. I'm glad I have it in the small size because I'll use this up, but I don't see it being one that I would repurchase just because I feel like I can get even just a little bit more coverage, but the same skin-like finish basically applies just as easily in the same kind of thin-ish texture from those drugstore ones that I was talking about. So those are the ones that I would prefer over this one here. But if you've tried this out, definitely let me know in the comments down below what you think of it. And I would love to hear in general, what are your favorite concealers? So thank you so much for watching my video today. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so you can see the makeup that I try every day. And I will see you tomorrow in my next video.